In this video I will demonstrate how to install source tools and use it to idle in Team Fortress 2. So once you have downloaded the package, you just extract it anywhere you want. Inside the source tools folder you'll find two launchers. Um, I'll go back to the source tools launcher later. Right now we're just going to start source tool for idle right away. There's no setup required. So once you launch it, you'll have this window appearing and then you have to choose your item tracker software. Uh, it will only ask you once for this setting. Um, you have two choices, DidRolls Team Item Manager and Krypton Laws TF2 Items Monitor. Uh, you can read the description later. Right now for the demonstration I'll just use DidRolls. You can go back in the configuration later to change the software you wish to use. So now Team Fortress 2 is being launched. Uh, it will launch it in text mode for res saving resources on your computer. So it's going to take a few seconds and then Source Tool is going to try to connect it. I'll just move the window right here. So by default there's about five servers uh, pre-chosen for when you launch source tools, but you can edit um, or change the servers you wish to use for idling. Um, I will show you later at the end of the video how to do that. So right away the first one is down, so that's good for the demonstration. You'll see that source tool is going to react the moment it fails. Right away you can see here it tells you that it pretty much failed to connect. Connection successful on the second one. So after that, that's pretty much it. Um, whenever you get disconnected, kicked off, whatever, uh, source tools will reconnect you. Uh, right now you can see it's going to start any time to, there you go, it shows the status, which is to count how many players there are, because on an empty server you might not get as many drops. So if the amount of players was lower than 5, it would change the server. You can also edit that setting later. Uh, also, okay, for demonstrating demonstrating what happens when you uh, crash Team Fortress 2. Let's say you're uh, away and then for some reason Team Fortress 2 crashes, which is pretty much the same thing as clicking X here. Right away Team Fortress 2 crashed and it will restart it. And it, because it crashed it will not take any chance um, and assume that maybe the server you were on caused a crash and then you'll be connecting to the next server in the list instead of the one that you're previously connected to. Um, and simply to exit Team Fortress 2, well, here we go again, server is full, server is full, so it switches over and over. Fifth server, connection successful. I highly recommend that, that you go edit the server list later on because the servers already included in source tools are pretty much always full. Anyway, to exit source tools, you just go in the source tools command console and you type exit. And that's it. You just wait a little bit and source tools will exit Team Fortress 2. Uh, just while I'm at it, I'll show you Steam Item Manager by DidRoll. You can pretty much view all your backpack um, while Team Fortress 2 is running. And you can even edit it. Well, right now Team Fortress 2 is not running, but you can craft and move stuff around. And your item drops will appear at the bottom. So, hold on, I will show you now what happens when you get a drop. So yeah, I had to restart source tools to demonstrate this is what happens when you get item drops. So the uh, normal unlock is going to appear in light green and um, the hat drops in bright pink, sorry about the color, but there's not many choices. Um, so when it comes to editing your server list, after you've launched source tools once, you'll have a folder called user files. Inside, inside user files, you have server list. Inside server list, you have servers text file. And then in here, you can just put whatever you want. Um, I recommend checking beforehand if the server disables the wait command. If it does, it will be removed from your list. 
Um, and that's it. I will make further videos in the future for advanced settings, but just for a quick peek, uh, if you want. Oh yeah, by the way, sorry. Uh, once you've launched EasySpectate.bat, it's going to be deleted and replaced with a desktop shortcut. So for the settings, you can launch source tools bat file. Um, you'll have three options. Um, so the first one is to launch a profile. You have to select whichever one you want, which usually is Easy Spectate. If I go here, see so you see Easy Spectate. But for configuration, you select number two, and then you can select number one for Easy Spectate and you'll have several options and for the connection manager options you can go in number five add-on manager and then you'll have several options uh, several sub menus so anyway for the future videos I'll do more description as to what the options do but you can still explore and check what what's what good luck on your idling goodbye